Rufus, oh, he let me love me, oh, yo, I just know Rufus, oh, he let me love me Caught up in my, caught up in my day Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so 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 glad to see you all again. I always feel super happy. Today's video I'm going to do, it's actually a redo video of another video I have already done. It's the 50 facts about me tag but the last one was very very bad. Like the lighting was super bad. I don't know the quality just wasn't good so I'm about to shoot the video again. I have written all my facts on my cell phone and I'm sort of going to um, read them out loud to you. Yeah, let's begin. I tend to get nervous whenever a bird flies over me because I am very scared that that bird is going to poop onto my head or even worse into my eye when I look up. Staffordshire, Bull Terriers and Pugs and of course Labrador Retrievers are my favorite dogs. I am 21 years old, I'm turning 22 in January and I'm a 1 meter 68 which is about 5 foot 6 inches said Google. My favorite flavor of food is tomato. I love tomato sauce, tomato juice, tomato topping. Oh my god, I could eat tomato sauce like with anything. Oh, and tomato soup, of course. My favorite fruits are pineapple and kiwi. I am an international business student in Berlin, but I am currently doing my Erasmus year in Cambridge, England. I am almost all the time late and I don't know why. A few of my senses talents include that I can do a bridge while standing, I can shut my fist into my mouth and I can imitate the seal. Do you want to see? Ow, 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 ow. I hate horror movies. I speak four and a half languages. German, English, Cantonese, Mandarin and French. French is a half because I've learned it in school but I sort of lost my memory of it. I am an extreme foodie. I love food. I love going out to eat anything. I love sitting in restaurants and in cafes. My goal in life is just to be super happy, travel the world and try all different sorts of food. I like to dry flowers like I hang them upside down from the ceiling and just let them dry. I just feel like that is super romantic and eternal. I really like to pick up stones and rocks like for example this one. I thought it was just such a beautiful color. Oh my god it's matching. It's like this really beautiful green and dark green is one of my favorite colors and this one is from I think it was from Sicily if I'm not mistaken very beautiful. I am a pro procrastinating and I've regretted it every single time. I love Polaroid photos. Um, I love shooting them, I love collecting them, hanging them up. I just feel like they are so nostalgic and very romantic as well. And it always makes me happy when I look at them. I am super super strongly empathetic. I can emphasize with almost every being on this planet. Do you know poker? The card game? With the dealer? Yes, I'm very bad at that. A few of my favorite sports include climbing, snorkeling and scuba diving. I have absolutely no patience, zero patience for Monopoly. I am a freelance hostess and I also act a model within agencies. I am what they call feminist nowadays. I really hate the word because why do you need an extra word for something that should be so obvious and normal. Um, I really feel like that women should be allowed to do anything they want without being judged more than a man and there is still the sexism around in 2015. Not only from the older generation but also from our generation. So I really feel like that women should be empowered and be strong and confident enough to put other stupid men into their places because basically we are capable of anything and I just find it so stupid how women were defined by men. I was told many many times that I make a reserved and cold first impression um, 
I don't know where it comes from, but I am definitely not cold, not reserved. But you guys, you know me a bit more than other people do, I guess, because you watch my videos and you know how I am, how I talk, what I think. But I guess it's just sort of my resting bitch face or... <laughs> I don't know. I love those people who can pronounce my name correct with the first try because always when I introduce myself and I say hi my name is Kexin, everyone thinks oh Texin like with a T and I don't know why it happens every single time and I'm always like no 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 it's with a K every single time. I don't know that's no coincidence. Maybe my pronunciation is like very bad. I don't like apples because I'm allergic to them which reminds me from one of my most embarrassing and disgusting stories ever it's the story about how I discovered that I'm allergic to apples it was in kindergarten we had lunch and there were apples for dessert and I ate a lot of them like loads and um, it was my turn to wipe off our table so I went to the bucket to get the towel and on the way I felt very very sick already and when I reached into the bucket to get the towel I threw up into the bucket super disgusting like the towel had my vomit on it but that's not the end because I was like badass but disgustingly badass I was like oh fuck that I'm just going to take the towel I'm going to the table I'm going to wipe that but before that even happens I am throwing up in front of every single one like in front of the whole cafeteria and people were just standing around me shocked and no one was saying anything and then in the next second another girl vomits because of my vomit so we were just standing in our vomit surrounded by other people, kids, teachers just staring at us and we were just like... It's... I know it's very disgusting, I'm sorry. I am a Capricorn and my Chinese sign is the chicken. Um, I was born in 1994 but in January so it's sort of 1993 in Chinese New Year's time. I have Chinese genes but I still suck at algebra and mathematics. I am extremely interested in biology, languages and psychology. My dream cars are the Range Rovers. I like it big, you know. And Mercedes. I actually have quite a very dirty mind, like a very nasty mind and I love making dirty jokes, but only if I'm comfortable with you. I've had a couple of part-time jobs in my life. My first job was at Coltimo, which is sort of like play shop in the Europa Center in Berlin. I've also worked at frozen yogurt, bubble tea, at Hollister, at the Moroccan restaurant and Prince restaurant in Berlin. I am extremely clumsy. I have a very very sensitive nose, like I'm super smell oriented, like when I walk into a room I can smell up almost any scent although other people won't smell it because I'm just so sensitive to smell. I like to talk to my dog and sing to her, like not only sing, I am performing in front of my dog, like reaching out to her and she loves to listen. Oh, and I love to dance around in my underwear, so I guess if my dog were able to talk, I would be fucked. I grew up in a pure man's household. I taught myself how to play the guitar when I was 15 years old, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. I do not smoke and I hate the smell of cigarettes. I am always trying very hard to be patient, but I feel like with some people, the Lord is testing me. Tea over coffee anytime. I don't like coffee, I don't like the taste of it. Only in the biggest emergency. I definitely prefer vegetables over meat. I'm not a vegetarian, but I just really seldomly eat meat. Definitely neutral colors over two bright colors. I am obsessed with dresses, lipsticks and shoes. Oh my god, I swear very often. I think I've sworn a few times <laughs> in this video already. And yes boys, girls do that. Get over it. When I listen to music, I always pretend to be in a music video or I'm pretending to stand on stage and to perform. I can kill a whole pack like this of Matezas in 5 minutes and I won't feel sick. Yeah, I sometimes sing the things that I'm supposed to say. Like whenever I'm saying something, I'm going to sing it, of course perform it and that's very annoying 
I know. So yes guys, I hope that was 50 facts now. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, how about you just leave me one or two facts of you in my comment box below. It would be so funny to see if we have any similarities or differences or whatever. And I'm going to stop talking now because I've talked too much. And I love you guys. See you next time. Mwah. Hmm.